Major support for Do the Math has been provided by Chevron, the Kern County Superintendent of Schools, Edison International, Valley Strong Credit Union, California Resources Corporation, Bakersfield West Rotary Stroop Family Foundation, Panama Buena Vista Union School District, Bakersfield City School District, Kern High School District, and AC Electric Company, with additional production assistance provided by these supporters of education in Kern County and throughout the state of California. Today we're at South Fork Middle School, home of the Mustangs, and we're here to Today we're at South Fork Middle School with some sixth grade students and ready to get busy on a math activity. You guys ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. So you've all got pencils. When you get up in the morning and you look in the mirror, what do you see? Bus. You see yourself, right? Yeah. yeah. What is that called when you see yourself? A reflection. A reflection. Oh, you guys are perfect. You guys are on it right now, all right? So each of you take a paper and just go ahead and pass it down. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to play with the person opposite you. Okay. So the one sitting across from you, not next to you. All right. And actually the people on my right side, you won't need your paper right now. You're going to use yours for the second round. All right. So what I'd like you guys to do right now is fold your paper in half. So you can do it horizontally or vertically. Either way is fine. And since it's a square, it won't matter. All right, and then open it up. And you can see where the crease is down the middle, right? Okay, so if we drew something on one side and wanted to make it look exactly the same on the other side, what would that be? A reflection of itself, right? So what I'd like you to do is on the left hand side. So situate your paper so that it's left and right. Okay. Down at the very bottom in the corner, put A on the left hand side. And on the bottom on the right hand side, on the other fold on the far right side, put B. That's going to be player A and player B. All right. So you guys are going to be player A. You will be player B. So on the left hand side, what I would like you to do is I want you to make five marks. So you guys have another pencil around I can use? Yeah. All right. So imagine I've got my paper like this. It's folded. And on one side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make five marks. Okay, it can be anywhere on the paper as long as it's on your side. So you guys go ahead and make five marks on your side of the paper, your player A. anywhere at all and make them kind of the same size so you can see it's not just like a little dot you want to make it a little bit larger than that so about that size would be fine once you're through pass the paper over to your partner and then you girls go ahead and put five marks on that as well on your side player B oh there's your pencil So just take a colored pencil. Now, you didn't have to make it look like a reflection. If you did, that's fine, okay? What I want you to do now is you're going to, on your side of the paper, okay? So give it, you guys can just hold on to it for right now, all right? So you're gonna be on player B side. What I want you to do is you're gonna look at player A, their side, where they have their marks. So if I was player B, and I'm looking at his mark, I would think that in order to make it the reflection of his mark, I would want to point right about here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a mark like this. I'm going to make a hole in the paper where I think his mark is going to be. So then what I do is I close the paper 
and I take a colored pencil and I make a mark inside that hole that I just made. Okay? Then I open it up and I see how close I was. Was I close? Uh, not really, I'm kind of far away, right? So I would have to think, all right, do I need to go farther in this way or do I need to go farther out that way in order to hit his mark? Does that make sense? So when you look at your side, right, you're going to make a mark, okay, to see that when you fold it, will it hit their mark? It's kind of like Battleship. Have you guys ever played Battleship? Yeah. yeah. Same thing, but with a piece of paper. All right? So go ahead and try that right now with the partner that you've got. All right? Make a hole in the paper on the side so that when you flip it, you think you're going to hit their mark. And when we come back, we'll see how the kids did with the first lesson on reflection. All right, back at South Fork Middle School and working once again with Reflections and some sixth grade students. So you guys had an opportunity to play the first round. You each made five marks, made a couple of holes to see if you could hit the other person's marks. And how did you do? How did you guys do right here? Mm, okay, he made most of his points. Yeah. So you were able to hit most of her marks? Yeah. How did you gauge where you had to put your hole in order to cover her mark? Well, basically, all I did was I looked at hers and then I would basically just guess where hers would be on my side and then I'd put the hole or I make a hole and then color it in and okay. then see how close I got. And it looks like you got pretty close, right? You hit a couple of times on these. And what about down right in the middle there with Mickey? How did you guys do? Pretty good. Did one of you get more hits than the other, or did anybody get a hit? Uh, kind of. We got real close. Yeah. Okay. And what about that at the end? Gabby, how did you guys do? She got one hit, and I got close to getting a hit. Okay. Now, Gabby, you got a hit. How did you kind of gauge where you needed to put your mark? Um, I just saw that if you put it closer, then it'll go farther from it. So I put it farther and it went on it. Okay, good. Now that was kind of easy because if you just fold it in half like that, it's kind of easy. You can kind of gauge the distance a little bit where you're going to go to, right? All right. So pass that paper up here, the one that you just did. And now you guys have the second piece of paper. So what I want you to do is I want you girls to take the paper and instead of folding it in half like that, what I want you to do is I want you to fold it in half diagonally now. Okay, so now I want it to end up like this. Once you have it folded, put the crease in it, then unfold it, and what I want you to do is on the left side, all the way over on the corner over here, put an A, and on the other corner put a B. Now when the paper was folded like this, do you think it was pretty easy to gauge where you had to put a hole to hit somebody? What do you think is going to happen now? It's going to get harder. It's going to get harder. Why do you think it's going to be more difficult? Because you can have to do it diagonally. Okay, now you've got a diagonal. So you can do the same thing. So go ahead and put five marks on your side. Anywhere you like. And then as soon as you guys get it, put five marks on your side. And remember, you don't want it to look like a reflection right now. You just want to put your things anywhere you want. Because you're trying to make it more difficult for them to hit your mark but we're going to see if it's easier or more difficult with the diagonal fold. And as soon as you have your five, pass it over. So once you have your five marks there, since you guys have the paper right now, look at their side, put a hole on yours, Right? Put a hole on your side so that when you think it's going to be folded, you'll make a hit. And then use your colored pencil. That way you can tell where your marks are. And did you get close? Yeah, I got kind of close to two of them. You got between two of them, right? Mm -hmm. How did you do on that first one? That's pretty close. 
And down at the end, did you get, did you hit it? Yeah. Or, right? No, not yet. I got close. It was pretty close. All right, so now trade it to the other person. Now, doing it, do you think that was more difficult? A little bit. A little bit? A little bit no. yes, a little bit no? All right. So why do you think it was more difficult diagonally as opposed to the horizontal or vertical? Mm, probably because angles and your brain was just doing it like in half. Okay. And then it has it had to change its ways to do it diagonally. All right. How did you girls do? Did you get a hit? Close? Almost a no. I was close, but close. Close. Anybody way off? Well that's good. All right, trade it back one more time. Okay, one more hole, make a mark through it, color it, and see if you can get right on the mark this time. Remember, you guys are just doing this by looking at it. You can't measure it at all, other than just using your sight. And you're estimating where it would be. Yeah, as soon as you make another one, we got a couple more seconds. Girls, as soon as you're ready, go ahead and try one more shot and see if anybody can get it right on the mark. And here we go, wrapping up another set on reflections. And the sixth grade students at South Fork Middle School. All right, once again, we're with the sixth grade students at South Fork Middle School, and we've been doing a little bit of work with reflections, and you guys saw how doing a horizontal fold was different than a diagonal fold, and one seemed to be a little bit more difficult, or it took a little bit longer to figure out how to make those points match up. Now, because you guys have said you've played Battleship before, this is a little something like that also. Have you worked with a coordinate plane before? No. I dare say you have. Maybe you just don't recognize the name. So I'll do it first, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to estimate. I'm going to look about the middle of the paper here, and I'm going to draw a line across the middle. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to estimate where the middle is going on the other direction and draw a line. So now what I want you guys to do is divide your paper up like that. Okay, so just kind of estimate where the center is. Draw a line down it, and then draw a line across. Once you've done that, do you know what you have? A horizontal plane. And you have a horizontally and a vertical line. You have a coordinate plane now. Okay, so when you're working with like a page like this, that's what it is. So when you have played Battleship before, you've always played in one quadrant. Everything was positive, okay? Now, have you guys worked with X and Y axis before? No. Have you plotted points on a graph? Yes. Yes. Yeah, okay, okay. well, big day for you. We're gonna refresh you on that, okay? So, the point right in the middle, do you guys remember what that point in the middle is called? It has a, a term for it. The origin, all right? That is zero, zero. All right, so what I want you to do is just make a mark right in the center, dot right on that, right in the center. Okay, that's point zero, zero. Now the x-axis is the one that is going horizontal across. Okay, if we start at zero right here and we go across to one, we go over one square, that's a positive one. All right, if I go over five on this line, what is that? Positive five. It's positive five, okay? Now, if I go in an upward direction on the y-axis, okay? So let's say I put a point right here, okay? I've gone over one, two, three, four, five, and I've gone up one, two, three. So the point is five comma three. Have you guys ever worked with things like that before? I have. Where you plot points? Yep. 
So that point is 5, 3. So you put the x axis first, the 5, how far you went across in either direction, and then the y axis is represented with the second number. Now let's say I went down. What would that be? Negative. It would be negative. All right. So here's all I want you to do right now is I want you to, in this quadrant only, where all the numbers are positive, what I want you to do is I want you to make three points. So don't put them in the center of a square. Put them where the lines intersect. All right. And you can put them anywhere in this quadrant you want. Okay, so just make three points. Can you, do it with colored pencil? you can do a colored pencil, regular pencil, it's up to you. Once you make your three points, now what I want you to do is I want you to label them. Okay, so remember we're starting at zero, zero. All right, so count across wherever your first point is, that's going to be your X number, and then count up how many lines you went, that's your Y number. So go ahead and then you plot the point, you write it like that. You put it in parentheses with a comma between them. So count across and then count up. Now, based on what we did the first two lessons with reflection, do you have any idea what I want you to do now with those three points. Yeah. No idea. Reflection? <laughs> there you go. We have a winner. All right. So what I'd like you to do, okay, so here's mine. So you're going to take the three points you made, right, and I want you to put them on the other quadrant in exactly the same spot, but watch how you label it now because it's no longer 5, 3, it's negative 5, Three. And the sixth grade students at South Fork Middle School working on reflection and symmetry once again, this time with an X and the Y axis, plotting points. Alright, once again with the 6th grade students at South Fork Middle School, we've been working with reflections, symmetrical situations and coordinate planes, XY axis, plotting points. Now time for the final part. So, take a paper, pass it down. Alright, now, when you're using a smaller piece of paper, it was a little bit easier, a little bit more manageable. Now with a larger piece of paper, we're going to see if we can make it more difficult. Fold your paper, paper diagonally. Once you have the paper folded, make the crease, open it up just like before, put an A and a B on either side. You guys are pros at this now. So I want you boys, just hold your paper now, right? You guys will do the second round that we do this, all right? So girls, what I'd like you to do is on side A, put three points. Three points anywhere, just like we did before, but you're on a larger piece of paper now. Once you're through, pass it to the partner on the other side. You guys put three points on the other side. Once you guys have your three points, you know what to do next, right? Yeah. You're going to estimate where you think you're going to hit theirs. But this time, you have a ruler. So you can use that now if you like. Okay? And then make your hole in the paper, fold it, and see if you can hit right on the dot this time.
was off. I was way off. Yeah, me too. You guys were way off? <laughs> I yeah, was a little, a little bit off. What's going on? You guys said the girls were right. You had a ruler this time. You played the game a couple of times. All right, give it to the girls. It's a bigger piece of paper. It's harder. Yeah, it's yeah. So the bigger the paper, more difficult it is, huh? Yeah. Okay. That's why we saved this one for last. That paper girls make you mark. Oh gosh, she's hurt. Oh, she's yeah. Hurt. Yes. She didn't I know. told you. You hit right on it? Oh, well, not right on it. Hit part of it. There you go. You got part of it. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I know if I can't make it, she can't make it. Yeah. <laughs> How'd you do it? Did you get close? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. She got close, but the only place. I was way off. You're way off? Yeah. So it is a little more difficult with the larger piece of paper, right? Yeah. Even yeah. though you have something to measure with. No, so. that's me. <laughs> anyway, just a little bit of work with the sixth grade students at South Fork Middle School. Reflections and symmetry. What do you think? Does that look like your size? We made it special for you last night. That's your shirt. <laughs>